Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids, in which we address questions that divers have about common complaints or certain things that affect their quality of life and particularly diving. We got the following question from a diver. I've had about three bouts of vertigo during the performance of 6,000 dives. The first time it was after a simple shore dive in Bonaire about two hours after the dive and it was so bad that I couldn't stand. I received oxygen and in fact five days of chamber treatment but it didn't really affect the recovery and I still struggled for about three weeks. So the second time I was on a rebreather for about an hour and then I got so sick underwater that I couldn't read my gauges properly. Again I got chamber treatment but I also got medication and that seemed to help more. I ultimately got an MRI but it didn't show anything specific. And lastly I had an episode and went to an ENT who couldn't find anything. Do you have any solutions for me? Well, it's a very complicated situation because the vertigo occurred after the dive and the dives were not seemingly of an aggressive kind in which you might expect uh, there to be decompression illness. However, there can be conditions like the third window syndrome and there may be situations where after a dive there can be a period of alternobaric vertigo or even in certain cases if there has been significant pressure excursions underwater there may be a delayed fistula or inner ear barrow trauma. I'd like to refer you to a presentation I have given on hearing and balance and hope that that possibly answers some of your questions because it gives you some diagnostic things to work through, in other words, pointed questions that may get you to an answer. But I can't simply give you a straightforward, this is what it is, uh, answer in this particular situation because it isn't exactly common and it didn't occur in exactly the same way each time. What is important to note however is that it seemed that the medication worked better than recompression and that to me says that it's probably something related to the nerve or function of the inner ear as such rather than bubbles or even necessarily barotrauma. But have a look at the video that we'll send you the uh, link to and please continue in asking the question until we get to resolution. Thank you for your question and until next time, safe diving!